I remember running from cops. Like everywhere I look, I'm like, damn, I remember I ran that way, I remember I ran this way, I remember I ran that way. We in the east side, south central. Right now we're on Trinity and Martin Luther King. You have uh, Clanton, 36th Street, Ghetto Boys, 29th Street. And we pretty much all go right there and, you know, get our stuff. On the gang, y'all stay up, for sure. I'm from Clanton. Hey, what's up guys? It's a beautiful, warm day out here in San Fernando Valley. I'm back. It used to be my home. And then it became my second home for, for a while. But I'm out here to introduce you to a homie, Bugsy100. He's not from the valley, he's from South Central, but his neighborhood has a long, long history of being all over Los Angeles. They they got a neighborhood over here in the San Fernando Valley. They got uh, they got uh, their section in uh, on Normandy and Melrose in downtown. Very old neighborhood spread out all over LA. So we're gonna show you different sections today, but this is him right here. What's going, on? What's going on, what's going on, family? You already know, hood vlogs in the house, getting it popping, you already know. Right here, we in the valley. Welcome to the valley. You know what I'm saying? This is not my my necessary uh, section. You know what I'm saying? I'm from South Central. We're gonna go there later on in the day. But this is the fourth. And uh, my boy right here, he's gonna give you a little sketch, a little game on the fourth. This is a uh, circus liquor store in North Hollywood. Everyone knows where this is at. Snoop Dogg, Murder Was the Case. Intro was right here. And then you got uh, one of my favorite movies, Alpha Dog. Um, they shot right here too. It was a little scene right here. If you watch this video uh, about me by Bugsy, um, that's I, I shot that and shot it right here. I don't even drink beer. Though. I'm over here going to the beer section. Bro, we about to just <clears throat> about to get some drink and give you a little tour. This is fire. A lot of people uh, use Fago to drink lean. I don't fuck around with lean, but this shit right here, pineapple and watermelon, this shit's fucking fire. Yeah, this store is very famous for like movies and a lot of actors come over here and it's, it's, it's we're really well known, especially in the San Fernando Valley. And we're about to uh, drive down the street, about to show you where I used to uh, live, where I grew up, where I went to school. How are you doing? Good, I'm good. I've your shit on YouTube, my nigga was cracking with you. Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You I doing? never thought I'd run into you out here. We're right here in the Fort a well-known area for Clanton. This is just like a chapter of the Fort Hood. And um, this is like the heart, if you would, if you would say. And so, you know, I know Clanton's been around for over a hundred years, about a hundred years. Clanton was originally started in LA, in uh, the Pico Union area, and uh, it started like 1920s, and it just kind of like branched its way everywhere, different places. This is the fourth hood, so they have the first hood, the second hood. The third hood and the fourth hood. And like I said before, this is the fourth hood. And uh, this is one of the biggest chapters. I was locked up in a Challenger camp, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was about 15, 16. And it was just an average day, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers taking fades, bullshitting, all that, horse playing, whatever, all the politics. I seen a group of, of brothers, you know, Crips. And they were just like, you know, boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? Hitting the Hit, doing a really dope instrumental, you know, bam, bam, bam. And it was rapping. I went up to the one that was rapping, and I said, hey, what's, what, what's happening, homie? Like, I, I, I like that, you know what I'm saying? How you do that? You know what I'm saying? Can you, can you teach me? He was like, yeah, yeah, don't even trip. Later on, come through, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you some shit. Right then and there, he started teaching me how to rhyme. He started telling me, you know what I'm saying? Dig deep into poetry, study Tupac, study all the artists that I like, listen. You know what I'm saying? And, and told me to hear the beat. Ever since that day, I've been writing music and I, I never, ever, ever stopped writing music. I didn't really take it serious until like two years ago. And next thing you know, I got signed, you know what I'm saying? I, I met Mr. Componi. I did, a, I did a dope song called Hot Shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and he responded. He just molded me and teaching me the right way because we can't bring these streets into, into this music, you know what I'm saying? We gotta be humble for the next generation. I rap, the homie does videos. And, and, and that's, that's how we do it. It's all positivity and creating doors and windows for us to succeed and, and to be uh, successful in life. I had to go through like uh, shitty ass life. I fell into like fucking alcoholism and drug addiction and 
causing the ruckus and running amok. But eventually, you know, like I, I just, I got my shit together. You know, it was time to handle business. And um, now, shit, now I'm a fucking filmmaker. The cool thing about it's LA is that, uh, you know what I'm saying, on different corners, on different streets, there's always vendors, food vendors. And they, and you know what I'm saying, they, like for instance, right here, they got pupusas. They're made out of uh, cheese, bean, and pork. I remember my mom used to work at that convalescent home. I used to uh, just walk after uh, after uh, class, and boom, go right there, get scooped up by mom. I mean, we only lived like down the street, but I remember that was the routine at one point, just walking down the street. That's the elementary over there. It looked like a jail out. There was no fence before. We used to just run out that fucking door, cross this fucking street, and go in there and just buy, oh, we used to buy big ass bags of Doritos, two liters, Boom, jet back to school. You know, drop around the motherfucking streets right now. Oh, look at this little kid just. Yeah, look at the little kid. Yeah, this is what you see in the fucking hood. Look. Hey, watch out, baby. Get back in there. Look, the mom's all pissed too. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Hey, she's probably gonna beat us at oh no. I she's gonna beat us at. No way. Make a left right here, fool. Go straight. What's the Whitnall Towers? This is the hood right here. The OC is known as the OC. All the homies that, that that know the deal and shit that watches are gonna they're gonna know the OC. This the um the famous alley where um put over right here, fool. This is where the um that music video by uh, MC Boulevard took place. And if you look at the video, it's it's all I don't know what year it is, but it's old and shit. And um you see even the way that she was dressed is different. MC Boulevard, you know, he was from the, the Clanton neighborhood. He was actually from this neighborhood right here. And uh, there's a, a video, um, it's called I Remember You, Homie. He did a little scene right here. He was standing like right here, and he was doing a verse. And uh, when I did the About Me video, like one thing you don't know about me, about me, about me, about me, about me, about me. I'm a motherfucking HPG, high power. Um, I was right here, you know what I'm saying, doing the same verse. It was like the past coming together, you know what I'm saying, with, with modern. You know the future so it, it was it was special he attends victory outreach and it's like a full-on like a believer and that's dope to hear you know i'd rather hear homies doing good after or whatnot rather than you know what i'm saying like fucking up or whatever it was me and three homies the hood up pulls up oh me and the other homie run and we pull up here we're full we're right here we're literally like right here right we're like this and the cops are right down the street and we start yelling we fool we're right here and we're yelling at the cops we're like Fuck the LAPD. I don't know, we're just drunk. We're just talking shit to the cops. We're thinking they're gonna leave them and shit, but they weren't, you know, they weren't. <laughs> we're talking shit to the cops, right? And then, the fucking, the backup finally comes, and now we're on that side of the street. And I remember the fucking cops, had that uh, bright ass light, and they were pointing that way because the cops had told them like, oh, we're fucking, we're yelling from that way, right? So they're pointing this way. They're driving slow, like two miles per hour, pointing that, the light that way. We yell like, hey, getting their attention, and they fucking stop, and they point the light all the way uh, on that side of the street, and we, <laughs> as soon as they point the light, we're like, fuck you. Boom, they start smashing to get to us that way, but by that time, we're fucking, Got lost through all the little cuts over there and shit. That's the only time I, I called the cops' attention. Other than that, we fucking run away. We don't ever fucking ever get their attention. I was a little kid running through these little streets. Homies and homegirls would have, um, live, live all through here, through Wintnaw. I lived on another street, on Tiana. Every time I look around this shit, like, I remember running from cops. Like, everywhere I look, I'm like, damn, I remember I ran that way, I remember I ran this way, I remember I ran that way. I'm good now, though. Honestly, I already paid my fucking... That's one thing I learned in life, man. You can play, but you gotta pay the price. And I, I, I mean, I already paid the price, you know, for whatever I did, I feel, I mean, at least legally, you feel me? Cause I ain't got no fucking warrants. I ain't, like the cops could come right now, I wouldn't give a fuck. Like, they, they can't take me in for shit. They fuck with us though, they fuck with us a lot right here. There's been times where like, the cops come, and if you're cool, like they won't even fuck with you. Like, they, they won't even, they won't even like harass you or, or hem you up or anything. It's only when you act up. Like there was a time where 
I was behind my cousin's house, and the cops came, handled us all up. It was like five of us, and um, the cops were cool, but then they started tripping once once the homie started tripping. I think the homie was drunk or some shit. But I remember the cop came up to me like the the captain or whatever the fuck he was. He was like the general or I don't know what the fuck he was. But this fool comes up to me. And he tells me, this fool comes to the side, and he was just like, hey, bro, he's like, hey, man, like, look, like, calm your homie down, like, we're being cool, you know, like, we don't come fuck with you guys every day, but if you're gonna have homies like this, acting like this, acting up, talking shit, like, we're gonna come harass you guys every fucking day, and I mean, but there's ain't shit I could do, like, you can't tell the, the next man what to do, the homie ain't gonna fucking listen, you know what I'm saying, the homie don't listen, listen to nobody, so I'm just right there, like, look, honestly, I myself could, but, uh, you know, the homie ain't gonna do shit, but, Funny story about that is that same time we were, put, we were hemmed up, my cousin, um, that fool was next to me, and he had done time in YA. And it was funny because it was the first time I heard that shit. Like, um, I knew what he had did. I know why he went to YA, but for him to tell a cop, that shit was funny because the cop hands him up and he goes, he goes, you ever been, a, you ever been arrested? And he's like, yeah, you ever been to jail? And he tells the cop, yeah. And the cop's like, for what? And my cousin's like, this was said it with pride. He's like, for kidnapping, for the purpose of robbery. And I'm right there, like, this fool's a fucking fool, dog. It was over here. Just like that. Like, that's the thing, though. You know, like, if you, you can play in this fucking life. You can play all you want, but you got to pay the price. You know, whatever it is. Don't ever think you're going to play and fuck around and not pay the price, you know? So that's the dope thing. You know, the homie and my cousin fucking kidnapping for the purpose of robbery, but he paid the price, so he could tell the cops that shit. You know what I'm saying? We in the east side, south central. Right now we're on Trinity and Martin Luther King, and uh, this is where I grew up. Welcome to my neighborhood. I used to live right around the corner right there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, got the pizza loca up here. So yeah, man, this neighborhood has a lot of history, and uh, that's the church up here. We used to be down a block right here. I used to live right here um, in the 3629 in the back to the left on these, on these complexes right here. And right here, this was a, a real heavy section where the Clontons used to kick it and hang out right here. It used to be real heavy. It used to be right here on this side of the street. And right here, it used to be little groups everywhere right here. You know what I'm saying? And right here as well, too. We used to be right here very, very strong. Right here as well. The local hood store. This is where we used to uh, buy all our snacks and stuff. This is real hot right here. But it is what it is. This is not far from uh, downtown LA. You know what I'm saying? The first hood, Pico Union. And uh, yeah, this is my roots. And um, this is where I come from. This is uh, right here, we are Trinity and Jefferson. And yeah, this is all the hood. We was in the fourth. Now we in the, in the east side in South Central. Later on, we're gonna shoot over to the third hood. Right here, this this little spot right here, this is where uh, I, had a, I had a real good homie named Matt. He passed away right here, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Matt. This is the swap meet coming up as a young kid, you know? I'll, I'll buy all my stuff right here, all my khakis, all my shoes and my shirts. A lot of the homies, a lot, a lot of Clanton members from the west side will come over here as well to buy their, you know, say their clothes and everything as well. So, uh, I also went to junior high right up the block from here. We used to come from junior high over here, buy our little nachos and our little shirts and shit, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff, chase, chase and tail. Y'all know how it is. But yeah, man, this is a real hot zone. Got all the people out here, different cultures. Look at the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? And another 20, 15 years, this probably won't even be around, you know what I'm saying? Just just capturing the moment for what it is. And uh, this is the swap meet right here. There's a lot of history going on right there, you know what I'm saying? It's been there for so many years, the whole neighborhood. Um, you know, just, just goes there and, 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 and buys all their stuff, but you have uh, Clanton, 36th Street, Ghetto Boys, 29th Street, and we pretty much all go right there and, you know, get our stuff, so, you know, the history is like, you know, pretty much conflict in a sense. You know, it, it, it used to be a lot of conflict going on right there. Right here in this area right here, this area right here, this is like the border, the borderline from Ghetto Boys and 36th Street back there. So this is like Ghetto Boys and 36th Street. 29th, bottom of 29th Street is more towards the right of, of, of 30th Street. They're no longer active, but you know what I'm saying? You could probably still see some head ups every now and then. Um, growing up, I went to junior high. 
uh, John Adams Middle School. I've never been to high school. I've always been to jail. First time I've been to jail, I was 10 years old. And um, I've, been in, I, I've been in and out of jail like 48 times. I've been in jail more than half my life. So, you know, I've been to group homes, placements, you know what I'm saying, uh, camps, you know what I'm saying, county, wayside, all that shit. Can't show you my high school. This is my junior high right here. I remember we used to have rumbles. We used to have rumbles in this motherfucker, yo. Like, the Primera Flats and Clanton, you know what I'm saying, we'll go at it. There's a tunnel. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to scoot up. All right, so you see right there? You see that little, that little gap right there? Where those little trees are, the little bushes? That's a tunnel. You go into that tunnel, you walk down the stairs, and you cross that tunnel into this field right here. So that little tunnel is under the street. Man, in that little tunnel, used to be fucking, rumbles, stabbings, all kind of shit going on in that tunnel. So if you're from John Adams, you know about the fucking tunnel. And this is uh, John Adams right here. Yeah, man, this is my hood. This is, this is my backyard. This is where Bugsy grew up, you know what I'm saying? And um, here's, a, here's a real dope little little vision for y'all. Look, check it out, downtown LA right there for y'all. Nowadays, you won't really see too many gang members on the streets. Um, probably because the, the police presence is, is at its at most high. It's at its highest peak that it's ever been. In the late 90s, um, kind of early 2000s, it was, it was still, you know, it was still going on. You know, 2004, 2006. The neighborhood changed a lot, man. It changed a lot in the, in the last 20, 24 years. It's going to keep on changing. I, I wonder what, it what it's going to look like in the next 20 years, you know? But this is this is the low bottoms. This is the east side. And uh, I've been to a lot of cities. I've been to a lot of a lot of uh, places. You know, I, I, you know, Inland Empire. You know, what I'm saying Riverside, San Bernardino. But man, it, there, there's nothing like South Central, the east side, the low bottoms. It's it's fucking dangerous as fuck out here, yo. You gotta you gotta have a fucking heart of a lion, and be very very uh, smart in order to survive in this fucking place. And if you have both, you might make it. But you got people doing, people do it dirty out here, you know, like, like you got enemies doing, you know, um, they're themselves dirty, you know what I'm saying? You got hoods doing each other dirty, homeboys doing each other dirty, it's just a dirty ass place. Growing up as a kid, you know what I'm saying, we would go to this market right here, real special market, it's been here for over 30 years. So everybody knows about the numero uno. My childhood growing up right here was very rough because I grew up on 43rd and Hoover and that's 18th Street Hood. So I grew up kind of claiming 18 in a sense because I kind of grew up in, in 18th Hood. You know what I'm saying? And so when I came out here, I was 10 years old because it was a big earthquake that happened. And so we moved out here because our property was no longer inhabitable. So we had to move. Hey, that's a dope Lambo. Y'all filming a video right here? I'm just saying that, that motherfucker hard. Y'all filming a video? Off for show. Sure. That, that motherfucker banged out on the gang. Y'all stay up, for sure. Okay. I'm from Clanton. Yup, for sure, my boy, stay up. Yup, whoop. When I came out here, um, I had to get adjusted to a new neighborhood, and I did. We showed you the fourth. We showed you the east side, South Central. Now we're on Pico and Wilton. This is the second. You know what I'm saying? This is this is Clanton roots. This is where we came from. This is this is this is our area. You know what I'm saying? Like even though we're not here as much as we used to be, shit, still here. You know what I'm saying? Wilton and Pico. You know what I'm saying? And West LA. Um, Clanton got really really strong roots in Los Angeles, and uh, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, roots are still intact, baby. You know what I'm saying? So it's Bugsy 100 with my boy right here. Letting you know, high power HPG. You know I'm putting it down. Hood Vlogs, good looking. It's a fucking dope ass YouTube channel. Subscribe if you didn't. You better subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Hit that little ring bell button. You know how we do that shit. And stay posted. This fucking video is a hit all day. Whoa, HPG. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, we kind of show you different parts of the neighborhood. Uh, right now, we, I guess it's in mid-city. Uh, part of LA, downtown is that way. Not too far from here. So we're just gonna wrap it up over here and uh, everybody got things to do.
Big shout out to the homies for taking their time. High Power, HPG, Bugsy 100. Shout out to Capone. Stay tuned. We out. Hood Vlogs. Keep up. I was raised in the streets, so I don't run for no beef. I just run up with that heat. Catch a body on the scene. Better have spot the seat. Nine milli with the beat. HP be the team. Palm trees, bullet holes, rivalries. I'm a big dog, homie. I run the street.